there's people out there that can make big fast money writing paperback novels that take newspaper headlines and appeal to our fears and misunderstanding of Bible prophecy. These writers count on our ignorance of the Word of God. They depend on our memories being short. The Bible is much more reliable than any novel or Nostradamus. It never needs to be revised or updated. That's the Word of God is always current. Some assume that it's only revenant is there if there's some prophecy being fulfilled in a newspaper. This is dangerous. It can lead to uh, people looking at the latest sensationalist book on prophecy or uh, fall for the latest claim that pop popular uh, prophecy pundits put out there. As Christians we're called upon to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Remember we should be like the Ber Bereans in Acts 17. They were commended by Paul for comparing what he taught with the scriptures to see if what he was saying was actually in there. Christians today need to do the same rather than simply trusting their favorite teacher or preacher or evangelist. Those folks may have uh, slick sounding arguments for these being the last days may have enticing looking covers on their books and flashy videos. But all they're doing is updating their failed predictions. Based on scripture I can say with confidence that the current conflict in the Middle East, 9-11, or anything else you see in the newspaper is not the beginning of the end. It's not the start of Armageddon. Jesus was very clear about when the end would come and what the end was. The end he spoke of was not the end of the world as King James Version uh, mistakenly translates it. It was the end of age. What age? It was the age in uh, which Jesus and the disciples were living. It was the end of the old covenant mosaic age. When was it to end? Jesus said the end would come when the gospel had been pre uh, preached in all the world and the sign of the end would be the destruction of the temple of Jerusalem. Paul records that the gospel had been preached in all the world, but most people don't believe that. But you can read it for yourself in Colossians 1.16 or Colossians 1.23. This generation shall not pass away before all these things take place. Most predictions today say that that generation doesn't mean what it appears to mean. People change the definition to make it mean something totally different. Then they take the words near and at hand and say they really mean far and a long time off. 